Andrew McGahan for Severa May standing alongside Rick the Horror Story. Rick, main event uh, of European event here in Sweden. You're arguably the most experienced fighter on the card. Do you think it's just deserved? Yeah, I do think it's just deserved. Uh, and I also think it's a great opportunity for me to like, get my career going back on the right path. I have to say, your career full of ups and downs. You were putting the great run together initially. I hate to bring back to the Charlie Brenneman uh, loss where you were putting a great run together and then a late, late notice opponent. But you always seem to be the guy that gets it back together. Do you know when some guys go on a bad run, they get released from the UFC? You always manage to pull it back together. Is there any reason? Is there a secret to that? You know, um, I'll just attribute that to the last camp I was in. I, I really don't believe it, it was like the best decision for me to stay there for as long as I did but I had other factors holding me there so um, I ended up changing camps because I was having a rocky road and hopefully I got all that ironed out and I'm able to come out and be a more consistent fighter. Well as well as consistent in my opinion one of the most well-rounded guys in the welterweight division great wrestling very heavy hands we saw it earlier on in your career and um, someone like Gunnar Nelson though I heard you say a minute ago you don't want to get drawn into his game and um, in your opinion what is the key to victory on Saturday yeah the key to victory is not to get sucked into his game and not to be relaxed at all uh, I have to be myself go in there and just keep the pressure up the entire time and until one of us breaks uh, that's how it's got to be. Do you think that the high pressure is the way to Gunnar Nelson? Because people are saying with every prospect to say, well, oh, well, what if he comes up against a guy like this? What if he comes up against like that? Now it's what if he comes up against a guy who tries to take his head off in the first 30 seconds? <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, I mean... Can you ask that again? I, I mean... I a lot of people speculate the way to beat Gunnar Nelson is to come out at him like a freight train 100 miles an hour right off the gate. Do you share that opinion or have you got a different idea? Hey, I think coming out like a freight train is very difficult to handle, especially if the person can keep that freight train up the entire fight. And it, it's, it'll break you mentally if you're not prepared for it. Did you take anything from his last fight with Zach Cummings, or did you even watch it? Uh, I haven't watched that one yet. I, I've watched his other ones, uh, but his uh, his fight when I was watching him wasn't up on Fight Pass yet, so I haven't had an opportunity to see it. Uh, can I ask about that over your left eye? It seems you suffered a cut. Was that recently enough in training? Was it any danger of pulling you out of the fight? Uh, no, it happened about a month and a half ago, so it just didn't heal up very nice. It, I mean, there's no... There's no like bump or anything, but it's just a little discolored still. One final thing before we let you go. You said about not falling into his game plan, but do you think there's? it's a little unnerving fighting against a guy that seems to have no interest or no emotional interest? It looks most of the time like he just got up out of bed before he comes to fight. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty laid back when he gets in there. Uh, I, don't, I don't care about the emotion the fighter has on his face. Uh, I know... I've, I've been fighting long enough when I hit somebody, like in their reactions and what they do, and I've seen what he does when he gets hit. I know when something's effective and when it's not, and uh, I've, been, I've been around it long enough to know what's going on in his head. Excellent, Rick. We appreciate the time. Best luck on Saturday.